children welcome back to my own class with show me ma'am okay so i expect rather i should say that i assume that my intelligent bundle of stars must have read the story and you know that will make my work little easier well let's move ahead um so today i'll continue from page number 59 and the second paragraph okay a friend felt piqued i charge only 3 pies per question and what you get ought to be good enough for your money at this the other withdrew his arm so that means you know in this we are talking about the charges so you may underline 3 pies okay at this the other withdrew his arm took out an anna and flung it out to him saying i have some questions to ask if i prove you are bluffing you must return that anna to me with interest so now this is something like you know when you uh, tend to disbelieve someone then what happens you have a deal isn't it that if you are proven wrong in that case you have a deal that you know either you need to buy a pizza or you need to go out for a coffee date something like that but here what was the deal the deal was that the anna which he would have charged would uh, have to be returned along with the interest added okay like um, you know supposing if i charge you 100 bucks that is 100 rupees for one question and then if i am proved wrong then you need to pay back uh, say 110 or maybe 120 things like that okay all right if you find my answer satisfactory will you give me 5 rupees so now the astrologer was really intelligent so he asked that okay fine uh, i'm okay with the deal but then yes i do have a negotiation supposing if i prove correct and you're satisfied with my answers in that case instead of 3 annas are you ready to pay me 5 rupees so then the customer told no or will you give me 8 annas so then he asks the customer whether he would give him 8 annas instead of 3 uh all right provided you give me twice as much if you are wrong said the stranger this pact was accepted after a little further argument so you see this conversation was going on between the astrologer and that stranger so i will not tell you who that stranger was let's keep it as a secret okay the astrologer sent up a prayer to heaven as the other lit a cherub now what is a cherub this is a roll of leaf which is smoked that means um, you know you have all the dried leaves it is rolled and then you uh, need to ignite it and then there is lot of smoke okay all right uh so that was the setup the astrologer got a glimpse of his face by the match light there was a pause Shh. as cars hooted on the road chitka drivers swore at their horses and the babble of the crowd agitated the semi darkness of the park the other sat down sucking his chin puffing out said there ruthlessly the astrologer felt very uncomfortable so we are about to reach the climax now this scene actually talks about how the astrologer is you know confronting one stranger whom he at one point of time had you know by mistake pushed him into a well so we'll talk about that incident a little later here take your anna back i'm not used to such challenges it is late for me today so now why do you think the astrologer uh, behaved in this manner it is only because he realized that the person whom he was into that you know into that uh, journey of thinking that he had murdered was alive and he was a little bit relieved from that 
uh, that uh, what do I say that guilt okay he had that guilt in him and that led him uh, fleeing from his own village his own native place and then he came to this particular village um, and he started his new profession as an astrologer so that is something which uh, we would rewind a little later regarding that incident what made him leave his village and come to this particular uh, new place and again you know start his own um, his uh, means of earning his livelihood as by being an astrologer so we'll talk about that now what is happening is children now this is that rewind that uh, real play is about to start by confronting this very person whom he had been thinking that he had actually murdered him but when he found that person in front of him as a customer as a challenger who was challenging his predictions so he was really relieved and then he just you know tried to um, distract that person by saying that he wasn't interested at all in giving such challenge okay so he's saying that okay fine now i'm not interested in your challenge so you take back your honor and he tries to give it back he made preparations to bundle up the other held his wrist and said you can't get out of it now you dragged me in while i was passing the astrologer shivered in his grip and his voice shook and became faint so now what is happening he told that you say i'm not interested you may please leave so he was uh, trying to pack up but then that person that means that stranger he held his hand like this you know he held him in his wrist and his palm was visible in front of the astrologer so the grip with which he had held that reminded him of the same grip which they had once i mean that gripping was a part uh, a part of that incident which actually led him flee from that village okay so that reminded him and he was sure that that stranger was no one but that very person whom he had pushed and he drowned into the well okay so he said leave me today leave me today i'll speak to you tomorrow the other thrust his palm in his face you know thrusting palm like this thrust his palm on the face and said challenge is challenge go on the astrologer proceeded with his throat trying up there is a woman so now he is starting with his usual play of words you know he started um, looking for some questions okay from his question bank that question bank was here in his mind he did not write it anywhere okay stop said the other i don't want all that shall i succeed in my present search or not answer this and go otherwise i will not let you go till you disgorge all your coins the astrologer muttered a few incantations and replied all right all right all right i will speak i will speak okay it's okay calm down all right all right so in his heart of hearts the astrologer was very scared was feeling really shivers okay but will you give me a rupee if what i say is convincing so now you see the astrologer was still you know trying to play tricks he was still there with his deal he said that okay fine if you insist definitely i shall speak but you also have to listen to me so you need to give me one rupee three annas mein nahi chalega no no bilkul nahi so that was how he reacted imagine when he uh, was you know caught red handed i shouldn't say caught red handed but he realized that the person was alive okay standing in front of him 
despite of being scared what he sensed was you know as if that uh, as if he was energized enough and he was ready for the challenge a new challenge and that challenge was if the answers were convincing he should be given 1 rupee instead of 3 annas not a bad deal i would say okay it was a good deal very intelligent of the astrologer all right um otherwise i will not open my mouth and you may do what you like after a good deal of haggling me other agreed the astrologer said you are left for dead am i right oh my my now imagine how that stranger would react ah yes yes tell me more tell me more bolo bolo tell me more a knife has passed through you once said the astrologer and then you were pushed into a well nearby in the field